Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be speaking about one of the superstars of the silver coin world, namely the Mexican Silver Libertad. So let's get into it. The Mexican Silver Libertad was first minted in 1982 at the Casa de Moneda de Mexico, the oldest mint in the Americas. Initially it sported the diameter of 36 mm and a thickness of 3.47 mm. This chunkier version of the coin was issued until 1995. From 1996 onwards the Libertad underwent some flattening and the coin then measured 40 mm in diameter and had its thickness reduced to 3 mm. The weight remained the same at 1 ounce or 31.1 grams. On the obverse of the old model we can find the Mexican coat of arms. It's worth mentioning that this design was continued until 1999 even after the change of dimensions that took place in 1996. The coat of arms itself features a Mexican golden eagle perched on a prickly pear cactus and devouring a rattlesnake and it is inspired from the legend of the founding of Tenochtitlan, modern day Mexico City. It is said that the god of war, Huitzilopochtli, told the Aztec or Mexica people to build their city where they saw an eagle eating a snake on top of a cactus. The symbol is encircled on the lower half by branches of oak and laurel and on the top half by the lettering Estados Unidos Mexicanos that translates into the United States of Mexico. Starting with the year 2000 this emblem has been shrunk and positioned in the center of the coin and it is surrounded by the old variants of the coat of arms starting from the top and going in a clockwise direction from oldest to newest. The reverse of the coin is based on the design of the 1921 Gold Centenario, a coin that was used to commemorate 100 years of Mexican independence. It features the Angel de la Independencia or Angel of Independence, a landmark of Mexico City built in 1910 by the architect Antonio Rivas Mercado to commemorate the centennial of the beginning of Mexico's War of Independence. The statue represents the Greek goddess of victory Nike holding a laurel crown in its right hand symbolizing victory and a broken chain in its left hand symbolizing freedom. In the background we can discern the shapes of the volcanoes Iztaccíhuatl and Popocatapetl. In the year 1996 the reverse was altered by replacing the frontal view of the statue with a less left facing profile as you can see on this coin here. The sign of the Mexican mint which can be found under the left hand of the statue on the older design the pre-1996 version can now be found just below the wing and above the cone of the volcano Popocatlpetl. On the old design coins we can find at the bottom the year, in this case 1986 and 1991, followed by the word Mexico and then the purity lay 999. On the modern version of the coin we can find at the top the weight, the material, the year and the finesse. The edge of the initial coin is marked with the letters Independencia y Libertad which means independence and freedom. The edges of the subsequent coin versions are only readed and they lack any inscription. In some years these coins also came in a proof, reverse proof and antiquated finish but these coins are very rare and command a very high premium going up into the hundreds. Except for its gorgeous design, what makes the Libertad so desirable by collectors is its relative low mintage. The number of coins put into circulation each year was initially in the 1 to 1.5 1 million range but more recently they have been reduced even further with 2016 being the last year where mintage surpassed 1 million coins with subsequent years seeing between 350,000 
to 600,000 coins minted. The rarest year is 1998, where only 67,500 coins were produced, and they go on sale nowadays for around $600. Also, what is interesting with the Silver Libertad is that by Mexican law, the Mexican Silver Series coins are legal tender even without the denomination on it, which means that the Mexican Central Bank will buy these coins at the price of silver at any moment. This is different to, let's say, an American Silver Eagle that has a face value of just $1. That was it for today's episode, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If so, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Have a great day and happy stacking!